Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the blade templates and these are some major points that we are going to learn in this video. So first of all we will learn some theoretical part about the blade template then we will create the controller and view and pass data to the controller to the view. Alright and after that actually blade, blade templates code going to be start and we will make some if else condition in the with the blade template we will make some loops with the blade template we will see that how we can pass the php code to the javascript code with the blade template and how we can uh, pass the html from uh, your database to or your controller to the view template all right so now let's start with the first question what is the blade template blade template actually this is uh, the engine of the laravel templating system and it will provide the lots of facility like you don't need to write the php tag to render your php code inside the html basically what actually you do in the other framework you have to do like the php code like this but with the blade template you don't need to write this kind of code you can just simply write the code inside this and it will look uh, nicer in your html and easy to uh, read and access also all right so you never you to use to this double quotes and single quotes and all all right so it will make a lots of uh, uh, less effort to write the code now let's start with the code and make your first controller and view uh, and make the route all right so first of all i'm just going on the command line and writing here code php artisan make a controller and controller name users and just hit the enter and now you can see that here inside the app http controllers and inside the controllers you will see the user.php code for uh, the controller now let's make a view inside the resource folder and just click on the view folder here just create a one file with users.blade.php and blade extension uh, you can use only if you use the blade.php otherwise you are not able to use this template all right okay so after that let's make a route for the route what actually i'm going to do first of all i'm just going to make a function here like function index and here i'm just going to return the view which i just created and first parameter is the view name which is users and second parameter i will pass some data here just after some time all right okay after that i'm just going to open the web.php and inside the uh, web.php i'm going to make a route so for that i'm just going to delete the previous route which is not useful for now get and my controller name and the list so i'm just going to write here uh, list simply just you can write the user uh, this is looking nice more than list just write it users at the rate index because index is my uh, controller name and guys if you want to learn more detail uh, learn in the detail about the controller view then watch you can watch our previous video link is given in the description box all right so now i'm just going to put some content here like h1 tag simply so here i'm just going to put here hello from view all right and now let's see with the user now you can see that view got the data all right so after that uh, let's i'm just going to make some dummy data here with the data uh, in the data i'm going to put some user information like name and in the name i'm just going to put a put a peter second is email id and in the email id i'm going to write here peter at test.com uh, okay so i just have to use here a bracket sometime i use the javascript inside php <laughs> that's why i write the code like this and uh, head with the head okay let's uh, break it in the 
some lines so that you can look it very nice and at the third temperature in the head I'm just going to put here some HTML tag because uh, I want to show you that how we can pass the HTML from controller to view at the last not for before it right and here I'm going to put here break the break the rock nice okay so now how can I pass this data to the view for that I have to take the second variable and it should be an array so and as an array I'm just going to put here data and like dollar data you can put the another variable name also this is totally up to you now we got the data here and how can I check inside the blade.php for that there is a two way one is the core PHP way all right here I can simply write here PHP print underscore R and I can just write here dollar data that's a one way but this is not actually we are going to do I'm just going to show you that uh, you see the code like this all right and here you can easily see the uh, HTML code also okay but this is not a way I we want to use the blade template so how we can do that so first of all uh, I'm just going to take a div even this is not necessary but still for now just use the double brackets and you can use dollar data and name and it can simply print your name here Peter you can see that simply all right so you can see that how easy is much as compared to write the HTML tag because if you want to put the HTML tag it's a lot so uh, fudgy code and it's it's not looking nice all right so after that uh, let's go for the second thing and the second thing I'm going to show you that how we can use the if else condition all right so still I'm just going to take a div here and inside div I am uh, going to start with the if for the if you have to use the at the rate and here you can use like dollar data name equal equal to Peter then what it should be print then it should have to print like anything like uh, hi this is me okay and let's say uh, you want to put the if else then what you have to do for that you can simply write here let's say name is Anil then hi this is my friend and let's say the both are not here then it's going to be uh, I have to use that else else if okay at the three else if the both are not going to be used then what you can do then you can simply write here hi nobody nice okay and at the last you have to just simply write here at the rate and if okay yeah and uh, let's now try to run it and now you can see that this is me but okay so if this is not uh, uh, viewable then I can just zoom it out now you can see that more clear so let's check the if else condition I'm going to write here Anil and now you can see that Anil, this is my friend and ah someone else hi nobody all right okay and after that let's say I want to see the all oh, I want to render the whole data then how can I do this for that you can use the for each loop inside the blade template yes they provide the blade template for each loop also so I'm just going to remove it uh, this is not a uh, useful for now okay and here I can just simply write here at the rate for each and dollar data as dollar i all right and just take a ally here and use the double cur uh, curly brackets dollar i simply you can write here like this and at the end you can just write here at and 
for each and now let's see what's going on then now you can see that you got the old data here okay so anil peter and h1 tag but you can see that in this case you are not able to uh, achieve the html markup language it's a simple uh, string you can see that then how we can achieve this for that you can simply write here for that uh, just use the accurate remark here in the both side and now let's see now you can see that you got the h1 tag without the h1 string okay so this is a more nice way okay so uh, at the last let's see that uh, how we can uh, use the uh, you can say that uh, how we can use the this php code inside the javascript all right before you that inside the script tag you have to write the html uh, sorry php tag but in the blade template this is not the case for that you have to use uh, some different approach so just i'm going to write here script tag and inside the script just write here var a equal to at the rate json in the json just simply write here dollar data and now let's see the magic here just try to console dot log and in the console dot log take first time it matter php code in js and just print the dollar data and now just open the console here okay so let me check what's the issues there here i got the issue actually i have to use here a not dollar data so now let's see now you can see that we got this data as in json inside the javascript also all right so we can use it as as, as we want so this is also a nicer way so before that you have to use your php tag and this is little funky so i really like the blade template so there is a much more uh, things that you can use with the uh, blade template like csrf token and the put request and uh, you can put the validations and all so i cannot cover the everything inside this video if you need anything specific about the blade template or the laravel then you can ask me to the make a video on it or uh, i'll give you the code or whatever i can uh, i'll do whatever is the possible so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks guys thanks for watching this video